Hello and welcome to this gentle vinyasa flow, perfect for your everyday practice. My name is Caitlin. I'll be guiding you through our practice today. You don't need any props, so just go ahead, set up in a comfortable seated position, and we'll get started. We're going to begin with our eyes closed. Taking a moment to come into this present space to let go of anything from our life outside the mat that might be holding us back. If there's anything that's causing you stress, go ahead and give it a little more attention. And let it go. Knowing that you'll come back to it later, but this time is for you and only you. Take one more deep breath in. And on your exhale, sigh it out. And open your eyes. We're gonna start off with some spine warm-ups. So on your inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring it back down. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, let it go. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring your arms back up overhead. This time we're going to find a twist. So bring your left hand down to your right knee, right arm plants on the earth behind you. Keeping your sit bones grounded, twisting through your torso. Inhale, arms back up through center. Exhale, drop it to the other side. Inhale, return to center, lift your arms up, place your right hand down on your mat, and reach over with your left arm, feeling that lengthening down your side body. Again, keeping your sit bones grounded. Inhale, lift back up, engaging through your core, arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, drop it down to the other side. Inhale, slowly rise back up. Bring your hands down to your knees and we're gonna find some seated pelvic tilts here. So think like a seated cat-cow type motion on our inhale, pushing your belly button forward, allowing your low back to arch. And on your exhale, rounding your spine, tilting your pelvis back. Two more times, inhale, tilt it forward. Exhale, release it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, bring it back. Return to a neutral spine, keeping your sit bones grounded, hands on your knees. Find some gentle full body circles here. You can move through your rib cage, you can move through your hips moving intuitively, listening to your body, listening to what you need today. And switch directions. Return to a neutral spine. Place your hands behind your back on your mat and just push forward through your chest, opening up across your heart space. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and return to a neutral spine. Extend your legs out in front of you. Find a few gentle ankle circles, twisting in one direction, starting to wake up our lower body now. 
and switch direction. Shake out your calves. Bring the soles of your feet to your mat and stop it out. And then plant your feet on opposite ends of your mat. And we're gonna windshield our wipers first down to the left, keeping our feet grounded, dropping both knees. Bring it up through center and down to the right, starting to wake up our hips here. Two more times, each side, moving at your own pace, moving with your breath. And after you finish your last round, go ahead and cross your ankles, roll over your knees into tabletop position. Take a moment to get centered and grounded here, spreading your fingers wide like starfish on your mat, engaging the arches of your hands to protect your ribs. And on your next inhale, we're gonna start our cat-cow movement. So inhale, drop your belly down towards the earth, lift your chin towards the sky for cow. And on your exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin for cat. Inhale for cow, exhale for cat, moving with your breath, one more, inhale for cow, and exhale for cat. Return to a neutral spine, get grounded, find your balance, root down through your left hand, and on your inhale, you're going to reach your right hand up towards the sky. Find a little twist here. Loop through your wrist. More little stretch. Switch directions. And now loop through your shoulder, bringing your arm forward like you're swimming laps in a pool. Almost three times. and then switch directions. After your last circle, reach your arm up, up, up towards the sky, opening up through your heart space, reach as high as you can. And on your exhale, bring your arm under your body, threading the needle, bring your cheek to your mat. Taking a moment to check back in with your body, how you're feeling this morning. And on your next inhale, release your full and return to tabletop position. Again, get centered, get grounded. This time we're gonna root through our right hand we're going to lift our left arm up towards the sky, and we're going to find our wrist circles three times in one direction, and then switch directions. Moving through our shoulder now, start swimming your laps again three times going forward. And then reverse it three times. After you finish your last circle, reach, reach, reach up towards the sky. Open up as wide as you can. And on your exhale, tuck it under, thread the needle, sinking down to the earth. Again, tuning in here, take a moment to return to your intention. Remember why you decided to practice today. And on your inhale, rise back up into tabletop position. Take a moment to make sure that your hands are steady, they're grounded, your fingers are wide. And you're going to tuck your back toes, lift your hips towards the sky into downward facing dog. 
can pedal out your heels here. The most important thing being that your spine is straight and long. So that means that you need to bend your knees, lift your heels. That's totally okay. Listen to your body today. Take a deep breath in. Gaze between your palms and on your exhale, you're going to walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat, meeting the forward fold. On your inhale, halfway lift, spine straight, gazing ahead of you. On your exhale, fold it back out. And on your inhale, slowly rise all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Unraveling your spine, arms reach overhead. And exhale, hands together, bring your palms down to heart center. Take a moment to close your eyes, to tune in with your body. Now that we went through our warm up. Just mindfully observing how you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling great, maybe you're feeling tired. No judgment, just being a mindful observer. Open your eyes. And on your next inhale, swing your arms up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers above head and press your palms up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, you're going to bend down towards the left, finding a gentle side bend. Inhale, returning to center, engaging your obliques and your core. Exhale, drop it down to the other side. Inhale, return to center. This time on our exhale, we're going to find a gentle back bend. So bring your palms down to your low back, fingertips pointing upward. Gentle bend in your knees and open up your heart towards the sky. Try to bring your gaze to the wall behind you. And release, bring your back up. Interlace your fingers at your low back, extend your arms out behind you and fold forward. Release your palms, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hands come to your mat. And step it back into downward facing dog. Take a moment here to tune back into your breath. If you notice your mind walking at all during your practice, try to come back to the breath or maybe the sensations that you're feeling in your body doing our best to stay grounded in the present moment. Bring your feet together at the back of your mat and on your next inhale, raise your right leg up towards the sky for three-legged dog. Exhale, glide your knee to your chest, step your foot between your palms, get grounded in your low runner's lunge, and on your next inhale, rise up into your high lunge. Take a deep breath in here, staying strong through your core. Imagine you have a string at the top of your head that's lifting you up towards the sky. And on your next exhale, open it up into warrior two. Pointing your back toes towards the long edge of your mat, gazing over your front fingertips. Hinge slightly forward, you can bring your forearm down on top of your front leg. Reach over with your back arm, finding your extended side angle. Again, feeling that lengthening down your side body. Take a deep breath in. And then deep breath out, noticing how the stretch changes as your diaphragm expands and contracts. Take a deep breath in, and on your next exhale, slowly hinge up, engaging through your core, back into warrior two. 
Hinge forward at the hips, flip your front palm, reverse your warrior. Find a side stretch on the other side. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out and cartwheel your hands down to frame your front foot. Drop your back knee to the earth, root down through your left hand and reach up to the sky with your right for an easy twist. Bring your hand back down, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes and step back into your three-legged dog. Lower your foot down to your mat, downward facing dog. You can find the connecting vinyasa of your choice here. So I'm going to be rocking up into plank, doming through your shoulders, engaging your core. Exhale, lowering down to half plank or chaturanga. And on your inhale, finding the back bend of your choice. Exhale, hips back up to the sky for downward facing dog. Take a couple breaths here, resting in this posture. And bring your feet together at the back of your mat. On your next inhale, left leg lifts up towards the sky, this time for three legged dog. Exhale, glide your knee to your chest and step your foot between your palms. Again, finding your balance in your runner's lunge, making micro adjustments that you need to. And on your next inhale, slowly rise up into your high lunge. We're gonna stay here for two breaths. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, turn it open. Warrior two. Hands slightly forward on your hips. Bring your front forearm down to your leg. Reach over for your extended side angle. Tuning in to the stretch. Looking for those different sensations throughout your body. Trying to find that presence, that bodily awareness. And slowly come out of your side angle, engage through your core, back into warrior two. Exhale, hinge forward at the hip, flip your front palm, find your reverse warrior. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Bring your front foot, drop your back knee to the earth, grounding through your right hand this time, left hand reaches up towards the sky, easy twist. Exhale, lower your hand back down, tuck your back toes, stepping back into three like a dog. Lower down to your downward facing dog, Rock slightly forward, drop your knees onto your mat, and sink back onto your heels for child's pose. Taking another moment to check in with yourself, with your body, with your breath. And slowly rise back up, passing through tabletop, tuck your back toes, hips high, downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Continuing to push up through your palms, strong through your shoulders. Bring your gaze between your palms, 
And on your next exhale, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat, finding that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up slowly. Arms come overhead. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Take a moment here to make sure that you're really rooting down to the soles of your feet. Engaging all four corners, engaging your arches. You should be able to lift and wiggle your toes. And on your next inhale, arms rise up overhead, glutes sink down towards the earth into chair pose. We're gonna find a gentle twist here. So taking your right hand first, swing your arm behind you, opening up towards the right side. On your next inhale, bring your arm back up to center. Exhale, twist it out towards the left. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, twist it out to the right. And this time we're gonna go a little deeper. We're gonna stay in your twist, bring your hands to heart center, and bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee to push yourself a little deeper, if that's available to you in your practice today. Slowly release your bind, coming up through center. And we're gonna repeat this on the left side, staying through an open twist to start. And bring our hands to heart center. Lowering down, finding that leverage between our elbow and our knee, deepening our twist. Staying connected to our breath. And slowly release, rising back up through center. You're going to sink your glutes a little further down, all the way down to the earth. This time you can rise up on your heels. We're going to make our way onto our backs. Keep your knees bent. Take a moment to just relax. Let your body process that intense posture. And then you're going to bring your right ankle up, cross it over your left knee for a step high in figure four. Find a gentle stretch here. You should be feeling it in your outer hip, your outer thigh. If you'd like a more intense stretch, then you can reach around to your back, the back of your left thigh, hug it in closer to your chest. Slowly lower it back down. We're going to repeat this on the other side. This time crossing our left ankle over our right knee. Again, you can stay just like this, or if you'd like a deeper variation of the stretch, you're welcome to hug your legs a little closer into your chest. To extend your arms out at your sides. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, drop both knees down towards the right, trying to keep your shoulders grounded into the earth for a slip pine twist.
allowing your body to start relaxing, to start cooling down. You close your eyes. And slowly bring your knees back up through center. And drop them down to the other side. Again, trying to keep your shoulders grounded, twisting your low back. Tuning in to any sensation that you might be feeling in your body. Bring your knees back up to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Try to keep your low back grounded onto your mat. Just give yourself a little rock back and forth. Find that gentle back massage. You're welcome to find happy baby now. That's part of your practice. Hug your knees really tightly into your chest and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try to bring your forehead to your knees and keep yourself into the smallest bowl that you can. And on your exhale, release. Extend your legs long, your arms down by your side. Spine Shavasana. Allow your feet to fall open like a book your body to melt into the earth. Relaxing the muscles of your forehead, the muscles around your eyes, your jaw, your shoulders, your arms, your fingertips, your core, your glutes, your quads, your calves, your feet and your toes. Slowly come back to your body, wiggling your fingertips, wiggling your toes, extend your arms long over your head, and keep yourself as tall as long as possible. Take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, roll onto your side, finding fetal position, using your arm as a pillow. And slowly rise back up into an easy seated position, keeping your eyes closed for a moment longer. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out, and return to that attention that we talked about earlier, why you want to practice today, 
and take a moment to show yourself some gratitude. It takes a lot of self-discipline to have a practice. Show some gratitude to your body for what it's capable of doing. It's truly incredible. And slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. The light in me honors the beautiful light in you. Namaste.